Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a live stream where, uh, believe it or not, News Now Voodoo asked a question and ended up getting a, well, rather bizarre response from a sovereign citizen who, uh, well, had a lot to say about things that didn't really make any sense to any rational person. So, thank you, News Now Voodoo, for sharing this video with me. And don't worry, next time I see you, I won't give you a shock. So, at any rate, let's go in and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this insanity. Yep, our Team Nobody on Discord, and that is my email if you need to get a hold of me. Because <laughs> it's a very real situation that we could lose communication on here. They're taking away a lot of things on Google and on Facebook from us. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, lady. Uh, where's your medication at and how long has it been since you've taken it? But at any rate, guys, this woman right here is famous for being that soft heart who got out of her vehicle and started running around like a damn mad woman saying all sorts of uh, crazy stuff. So uh, let's get right back to it and see what exactly she has to say. Even the cops are getting mad because how are they supposed to put out missing children? Wait, yeah. Isn't that natural for it? Like, think about that, you guys. And think about this. How do you think the government's able to put out rewards for children? Because they have them. And they know that they don't have to pay those rewards. Oh, and how do you know this, lady? Uh, uh, where did you get this information from? If you know what all about it, then show us uh, the receipts. Show us what you know. I mean, I mean, there's the old saying, if you can't show it, then you don't know it. And I looked through your entire live stream and you didn't show any evidence of what you were saying. You were just pulling all this out of your ass and hoping it would stick to the wall like spaghetti. But uh, you know what? Doesn't work like that in the real world. You gotta have evidence. Because they're the ones that effed and took them. Have you not noticed that? How many kids that have rewards have shown up and those rewards are paid out? <laughs> Everybody claims that they're from the family and stuff? No. $100,000 to Mayor Keepness in Saskatchewan. That little girl that went missing what 12 years ago there's a big reward for her because they know that she's not going to be found we just we don't have a youth so just like a what don't you guys see about that they can they can offer all look at that bally girl sarah bally here in canada she went missing and there's a big reward because they're never gonna find her they took her I'd be on that good sucker every day. So, so let me get this straight. You're one of these conspiracy theorists that think that all these kidnappings are fake and everything like that, and the families are nothing more than crisis actors. Is that what I'm getting here? Because you know what? Alex Jones lost in court over that BS with uh, Sandy Hook. So if you want to go that route, I'm quite sure that the families of those missing children uh, would like to have a word with you on that, and they wouldn't be happy to hear what you're saying, if anybody knows them, of course. It could be something. <laughs> Uh, Ethan, it's just so that if we lose contact on here, that we can still contact each other. But it's going to be a locked down Discord. It's just kind of like backup because I don't use Discord. Brian. Oh, is there? <laughs> What's wrong with Austin? Is he crying oh, though? 
Oh, hold on, I got some messages I gotta look at here. A little longer than a few minutes later. Sorry, I was just looking at Gab's message there. Yeah, I had to download it too. I couldn't download it on my one phone, Ethan, because there's so much crap from Zello on there with Spoon and shit that I just, I had to, I can't delete it yet. I got to get it on a memory stick. The government's taking our kids. <laughs> That's not something new, uh, Voodoo. The government offers hundreds of thousands of dollars to find these kids because they know they're not going to find them because they have them underneath our feet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let me guess, you're one of these conspiracy theorists that believe that there are secret tunnels hidden all over the place that we don't know about, that only the government knows about. Well, I've also heard from other conspiracy theorists that there are secret tunnels that connect all Walmarts together. You know what? The only thing that I've ever seen connecting all the Walmarts together is the intranet that they use called the wire. There are no secret tunnels under the under Walmarts. That's just a myth. Just like your secret tunnels that you're probably about to mention here in a moment. So why don't you take those tunnels and uh, find somewhere to put them? Because I got a question for you. If they dug out all those secret tunnels, then uh, where would they hide all the dirt that they dug out of the ground? I mean, that much uh, with dirt coming out of the ground would definitely be noticed. I told you, this is just like the Aboriginal genocide, or the Indigenous ge genocide. Except for these kids are still alive under the ground. Ours aren't. And you're the ones getting segregated and assimilated this time. The other side of the cultures. <laughs> it's pretty um, right in front of your face common sense. That's the thing about this. It's not like they try to hide it, you guys. It's just that we're too oblivious to know what's going on in front of our face. 40, 50. Or make 45 because I might have a charge for it for being $5 for them to cover it for a while. Yeah, the underground tunnels and bunkers are called the dumbs. D.U.M.E.S. Look it up. You're going to have a hard time finding it, but it is out there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that you're certifiably crazy at this point because you know what? If you actually believe that, then I've got some swampland on Mars to sell you. And it's fairly cheap. You just got to get there. It's been a thing for a while. Did you also know to that mo notice that Monsters, Inc. was made for that? That movie is showing you what they do down there with endochrome. With your adrenochrome, sorry, endochrome, adrenochrome. They scare children and their adrenaline goes up and then they take their blood and they get high off of it. That's what Monsters, Inc. was showing you. The monsters coming in, scaring them, and they fill the scare tanks, which is the adren adrenochrome in real life to get high seven did you know that did you know in the real world that if you're gonna make uh, allegations like that that you need some actual tangible evidence to do so so if you're gonna pull this bs right out of your Ass, I really should expect you to have something backing it up. But if you don't, then, well, well, you have nothing. You have nothing in your hands but thin air. Nothing in your hands but nothingness. And yet you sit here and think that you know everything about what's going on. Yet, well, you obviously know nothing. So I'm just going to leave it right here because this chick 
is quite insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.